we're going to talk about Unit 4, this planetary network. Under this, we have climate change. So we have the effects of consumption and production patterns of climate. I took climate change, the effects of climate change, step to address the problems of climate change. This is under trends, network, and critical thinking in the 21st century for senior high school students. If you are new to my channel, please like and also subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell. Change is inevitable. The era of globalization certainly contributed in changing the landscape of the world and its inhabitants. Amid this growth and advancement in technology, the environment seems to bear and suffer the consequences. Every day, we are confronted with issues and problems related to the environment. The issue of climate change is one concrete manifestation and realization that the age of globalization and the rapid industrialization, industrial and technological advancement has taken its toll on the natural environment. Now let's talk about climate change. This was already introduced with in less, uh, Unit 3, so ito na siya. So climate change is also called global warming. This refers to the rise in the, the average surface temperature of the Earth. An overwhelming scientific consensus maintains that climate change is due to primarily to the human use of uh, fossil fuels which releases carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases into the air. It is a change of climate which is attributed directly or indirectly to human activity that alters the consumption of the global atmosphere. This is under the United Nations Forum Convention on Climate Change. So, under climate change, meron din tayong tinatawag na greenhouse effect. So, that this, uh, this effect is the trapping of the sun's warmth in a planet's lower atmosphere due to the greater transparency of the atmosphere due to, uh, to visible radiation from the sun than to, in, than to infrared radiation emitted from the planet's surface. Kasi ano nangyari sa atin? Because of the thinning of the global, of the ozone layer, natatrap yung init ng araw sa planeta natin which parang nangyari is the greenhouse effect kasi ganun nga ginagawa sa greenhouse na tinatrap niya yung init para nga sa mga halaman para siya lumago kaya lang problema sa atin tayo naman yung tinatamaan nito as human beings and also yung mga iba't ibang parts ng globe natin kaya tumataas minsan I know I mean tumataas na tumataas na yung level ng tubig natin because yung mga Sinasabi nila yung mga yellow daw, yung mga icebergs na tutunaw na because of greenhouse effect. Kasi nga umiinit na yung ano natin, umiinit ang temperature ng mundo natin. So, the seven effects of climate change you are already seeing. So, climate change isn't something that's happening in 10 to 20 years. It's already happening now. So, nangyayari na siya ngayon. So, malas natin kasi inabutan natin ito. So, here are seven effects of climate change na nakikita na natin. So, for now, we the longer, more intense allergy seasons, especially sa mga malalamig na climate, like for example in Japan. So, warming temperatures in some areas like in the northern United States are extending the periods where when plants release pollens. Sa atin naman sa Pilipinas, hindi naman sa atin ganito eh. Pero in other countries, ayan nga. So, this affects not only people who already have allergies, but those who don't. So, this means that people who have pollen allergies might experience more intense symptoms and people who don't normally have allergies might begin to experience them. So, this pollen can induce allergic asthma. Kaya siguro sa Japan, kapag nagsichange ng weather nila, karamihan sa mga Japanese is kumagamit ng face mask. Pero ngayon dahil may COVID, naka-face mask na talaga tayong lahat. Okay. Second one is foods 
you love are becoming less nutritious and cost more at the grocery store especially now in the Philippines na tumataas na ang bilihin lalo ng gulay ang mahal na so some carbon dioxide accumulating in our atmosphere thanks to fossil fuels is actually changing the composition of fruits and vegetables that we eat making them less nutritious Ex extra carbon dioxide is speeding up photosynthesis and causing plants to grow with more sugar and less calcium, protein, zinc, and important vitamins. Not only is food becoming less nutritious, but it could soon cost more too. Beginning in 2006, drought in major wheat producing countries was a key factor in a dr dramatic spike in food prices around the globe. And as the world keeps getting hotter, see, we can expect to see this kind of drought more and more often. More common, more severe, and more long-lasting heat waves. Extreme heat and heat waves have happened since the beginning of time. But across the board, climate change is making heat waves more common, severe, and long-lasting. Heat waves can become so intense that our roads actually melt. Dito nga sa Pilipinas, di ba, napapansin natin, every summer, grabe pa init ng painit na. So, hindi, expect na natin, this coming summer, mas mainit kisa last year. Wildfire causing damages to our landscape and our communities, as well as our health. So, nangyari na ito, alam ko yung Amazon, di ba, nagkaroon na ng, ano, ng wildfire doon. So wildfires are devastating communities around the world from billion dollar destruction they cause the cost of lost plant, animals, and even human life. These devastating natural disasters are scarring our landscapes. Hurricanes are becoming more likely and more dangerous. Around the world, average sea surface temperatures are rising. As seas get warmer, they add more water vapor and heat energy into the atmosphere. The extra heat and water just happens to be the perfect fuel for hurricanes and in the right conditions can make dangerous storms even more powerful. More climate related mass migration. So this was already discussed in uh, Unit 3. So climate change is already prompting an increase in migration with people being forced to leave their homes because of drought, flooding, and other climate-related disasters. And lastly, diseases spread are spreading more easily. This is carrying insects thrive with warmer than average temperatures, extreme heat waves, heat waves, and heavy rains. These vectors, like for example mosquitoes, live longer lives in extended peri uh, periods of warm weather fly into this um, like for example mosquitoes fly into new areas that were previously too cold and produce in water deposits left by the rain climate change also is also creating ideal conditions for waterborne pathogens like bacteria viruses and protozoa which flourishes in warmer waters so, ano yung mga pwede natin gawin with regards to this uh, problem? So, these are the things that we can do. So, sabi dito, we can reduce energy consumption, we can travel green, we can watch our water use, reduce waste, and also plant a tree. So, climate change solutions. In order to avoid the most serious impacts of climate change humans, will have to significantly reduce the amount of greenhouse gas emissions being put into the atmosphere. There are different approaches to make these decreases, including optimizing vehicle proficiency, expanding access to and utilization of open travel, overhauling building protection, supplanting fossils with renewable energy and diminishing deforestation. Numerous legislatures, organizations, and people are starting to execute some of these techniques and hence gradually decreasing emissions. The use of cleaner production technologies and change of lifestyles are desired to impact a change in the climate. So, ayun lang. So, 
Ang tinuro sa amin no, na nag pa ako sa UP is meron ano, tatlong R. We have reduce, reuse, and then recycle. This is the three R's na pina, parang pinaniniwalaan namin ngayon na sana gawin din natin ngayon kasi kailangan na tayo ng ating mundo kasi umiyak na ang ating mundo so kailangan natin tulungan na ating Mother Earth na mabuhay pa. Okay, so that's our topic for today. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and also subscribe sa mga bago. And also hit the notification bell. And I'll see you again on my next lecture. Puta naman, di pa... Thank you.